Hey, good day to all of you. My name is Blair and welcome to another OS operating system. Today, we're going to take a look into Fedora KDE desktop environment, which is the Fedora 39. So I'm now right here in my Fedora 39 KDE desktop environment. So let's take a look into this. Uh, do we have a welcome page? Welcome center. So welcome, yes, this is the KDE Plasma desktop environment of Fedora right now. So they have the simple default system settings right here. Uh, there is an information right here how to use the KDE Plasma. Uh, they also have the software manager, which is the Discover. They have the Krita, which is one of the best drawing apps, the best animation application which is a uh, example of our scooby-doo avatar and a lot more including the movie titanic they use blender to use for their graphics at the same time blender is using the kaden live do they have the kaden live right here so we're gonna take a look into this later uh vlc are their uh, multimedia and this is for their image manipulator program for their star maps they have the k star and the endless skies let's try to move on so there is a lot right here if you want to disable the information blah 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 thing so you just move and let them know or just be anonymous connect your online accounts right here just click add right here so it's up to you get involved okay let's go to the discovery so as you can see they have their software center discovery uh, for example if i'm looking for the Caden live which is also the application that been used to make the movie uh, avatar let me see another video called scooby-doo and the other one is the titanic yes it is the titanic so uh let me see this is the software kaden live i don't know if they, they have the kaden live right here do they have no they don't have probably the is why uh, it is still loading supposed to be okay install let's just install it okay so it is now installing right here on the task it is now reaching 100 percent so the Kaden live is a non-linear video editor based on the mlt frameworks and accepts this video and the audio format as you can like add effects transition renders and so on and your choice that you wanted to so that is why so let me open that one so that you could see what is the video editor this is uh, my preferred video editor i've been using this uh, for how many years already I, even though i'm using the old uh, Linux OS at the same time in Windows I use this Kaden live for my video editing before I was using the Adobe Premiere but I shifted to Kaden live because in Adobe you will always be constantly paying but when I discovered Kaden live they have all the effects that I wanted to from the masking from the chrome from the obscure yes you can obscure at the same time uh, from audio you have a lot of choice right here even these mixes of channels uh equalizer to remove sound for example if i wanted to remove the sound uh noise so you have choices for your audio and video you can also add just right click and then add track you have the options only for the video 
audio or AV or audio and video or the recording so I prefer the audio video for the video so either it is above V1 or above V2 or video 1 video 2 above or under or below so it's up to you so you also have the choices like two tracks let's add two more tracks you have video 1 2 and 3 4 and down right here we have audio 1 2 and 3 and 4 so we also have the mixer right here let's move this one so we have audio 1 2 3 4 and if you want to put the effects right here just drag right here and then you will have all the effects right here uh, screen time yes uh, for the effects yes you can use this one too or the color grade right here editing and compose right there effects clip uh, prefer uh, uh, information undo of your uh, history so and of course you have save us save 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 and how to render right here control return or control enter so that is the render okay let's close this one no I don't want to save so how about uh, let's try to see if we could like download uh, Krita so we have Krita right here so how to do it like install and if I wanted to look for another like Google Earth let's type Earth as it is downloading right here 21 percent right now We have the, the QGIS right here, the marble. I want to use the Google. We have also the... Oh, where is the Google? Let's... Google Earth. Ah, here, maps. But this is the... I think this is not Google. This is the... Oh, the genome maps. So just click install if you want to click the application for the google let's go to google google earth download so let me see why is it in thai i need it in english oh okay English okay there you have it on desktop yes I will like into desktop download so I have the deb okay let's click the deb so it is downloading how to install deb file let's just double click on that one and then there you have it extract extract right here Oh, I forgot. I'm using Fedora, so let's download Fedora. So remember what your operating system. Either you are based in Debian and um, Ubuntu. If you're using the RPM, that is for Fedora and the Red Hat. So let's open that one. Let's install it. Install. So it reaches 99% so in a while it will be available let's try to see where is that oh there it is let's minimize this one we have Google Earth right now yay no uh, don't show it again I'll just gonna open it so this is the Google Earth just like in our in Windows or in Mac or whatever so cool right so there you have it you have the Iloilo City uh, map on Google
that is the old airport this is the new airport right here it is much larger and bigger okay let's close the Google Maps Oh, close cancel so there you have it how to use the Google how about to use the uh, star maps let's click the Starlarium so install and install everything is here so cool let's go to the desktop user interface or the graphic user interface of this desktop we still have the launcher right here the start menu application so we have to click that one so to demonstrate but at the same time you can change it into other alternatives like like this one like the large icons so when you click it it is will be like this or you can change it into like this one a smaller so let's go back uh, like that one uh, not too big not too small okay uh, we also have the quick launch right here we have the system settings the discovery the dolphin and the Firefox your web browser we also have right here the information the notification we have the time and date and the network sounds and so on we also have the icons right here if you want to put another file right here if you wanted to just like in windows you also have the option to put the widgets so for example i want to put this time right here so click right click and then just move it system settings so cool right how about uh, let me see if you want to put a weather so where is my location for example I'm London right now just click apply I forgot to move it no oh, I didn't click so it will get information about London right there all right so that is the information the widget so just like on Windows right how about if I look for the information about Fedora let's click Fedora fedora.org at the start page okay it is a operating system and it is free and open source so this is version 39 right now so to get fedora just uh, choose from I'm using the workstation so the workstation has several options right here so you just click it if you want to download it just click download you have options right here If you want to use the KDE, which is right now I'm using, this is what I have right now. It is the Fedora 39 KDE desktop environment. And of course, just click download right here and it will download. So let's talk about the application right here. So we have a lot of application, but I'm gonna do it by categories. We have the administration right here for the firewall. We have the development for the bug fixes right here, uh, which is the DBus bugger. Uh, we also have for the education, we have uh, installed the install the Celarium just in this while ago for the planetarium and for the star maps we also have the formulation of the mathematics and the scientific formulation that is for the delivery math uh, at the same time for the games we have mahjong and the classic one the minesweeper thing we also have the graphics right here we installed the krita just a while ago at the same time we have the paint program and the libri office draw which is the counterpart of the microsoft 
uh, publisher. We also have the ocular for the document viewer for the PDF and the image viewer we have the grand viewer for the internet we have the firefox web browser we also download the google 3d earth map uh, we also have the connects right here for the ms the you know for the emails thing and so on and so forth uh, we also have for the multimedia we have the dragon player for your video player we have also for the music or mp3 audio player we have the camoso for the webcam and of course we just download the Caden live video editor we also have the office right here we have the office suite of the LibreOffice. for the spreadsheet we have the calc which is the counterpart of the Microsoft Excel. Uh, we have LibreOffice Draw for your drawing application, which is the counterpart of Microsoft Publisher. We have the LibreOffice Impress, which is the presentation of the slideshow, which is the counterpart of the Microsoft PowerPoint. Uh, for the LibreOffice Math, for the formulation of the mathematics equation plus your scientific formulation but in the counterpart of the Microsoft I don't know if they have it I think they still don't have we also have the LibreOffice writer which is the word processor uh, the counterpart for the Microsoft it is the word we also have the system settings right here for their control and KDE partition manager and all the information you need including the system monitor and the utilities for all of those stuff yeah so if uh, you want to just look for the alphabetical order you have the all application category at the same time so right here on the bottom we have sleep restart and shut down if you have some question feel free to ask me write it in the comments down below don't be shy just ask me maybe i could like help you in the long run conclusion it is easy to use right here because it is a KDE version so it is easy like a windows so how to install it is very easy just follow the instruction it is not too hard to install uh, the learning curve is not too hard because this is a windows like so as you can see i could like create new documents new folders uh even new folders like for example like new folder okay like that one just grab it like uh, windows it is just like windows uh how about the wallpaper wallpaper is just basic we have all the kde wallpaper right here uh if you are using kde uh, wallpapers f with their website you will see this most of the time you can download this for free it is absolutely for free because linux is free and open source you don't need to pay uh, to get more of course just click right here and then you just look for your favorite uh, thing like if you want to uh, look for your own type of wallpaper like this one so just click install and then it will be installed right here and then when you click there you have it so yeah there there is our wallpaper now so if you have some questions feel free to ask as i said write it in the comments down below this is been your science teacher and your computer teacher at the same time right here on my channel which is the real btv both available in youtube odyssey and rumble Bye for now and see you in the next episode. And remember that science means knowing that is why science is cool. This has been OS Operating System, Fedora 39, KDE Plasma Desktop Environment. Bye for now. Ciao. How to shut down? Click shut down. And then shut down.